Welcome back, everybody, to Steam yes. Powered. Bitches and hoes. Uh, so today, me and Dakota are on an adventure to tame insects and make them our slaves. But uh, let's just say indentured servants. They owe us. So, what we need first of all is to get this these uh, stigmas inside of here. This, you see this glowing thing? Uh, I can't really get over there, so I'm just looking. Do you just see the glowing thing I'm standing on? I'm trying. Yeah, I see it now. These are the things that uh, the bees like to pollinate. So we're gonna need that. You need silk touch to get that. Apparently not. Apparently. Oh, that wasn't a slip touch. Okay, goddamn it, my fault. I just automatically thought. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard to find. But, uh, uh, the bees, you'll notice them when you see them. They're only worker bees. Oh, there's another one over here. But you gotta watch out for these stigmas sometimes, because some of them are called exploding stigmas. And, uh, you can't tell what they Bot mean. flies are annoying. Bam, alright, I got one. I'm gonna also get these stems, too. Just for decoration. Oh, I fell. Good job, Davis. <laughs> I'm gonna make the make the stigmas look beautiful. So beautiful. It's so fancy. You already know. Yeah. Already know. So we're also gonna be taming ants. And maybe in this episode, we might be doing something else in this episode. And, I, but, and uh, then, well, next episode, you want to do the friggin' titan beetles. And then, yeah. So here, I got it right here. The stigma. It's right. a thing they pollinate, so you might we might want to find a couple of them. There's a wasp over there. That's, is that a wasp? Yeah, that's a wasp. Uh, I see a bunch of wasps. My, I want to see if my underbow can reach that, my tribo, my bad. I see a bunch <gasps> of wasps. Oh, yeah. Feels so good to have this. I see, uh, is that a titan beetle? That's a titan beetle. That oh, I see, I see B. I see B. Come on. Alright, let's go, let's go. I'm playing in fancy. Feather falling! I'm playing in fancy for once. I never do that. Actually, I am too. It looks really nice. For once. The leaves. the leaves, I'm not used to leaves being transparent. All right, here, here he is right here. I'll let you uh, nab this one up. Just right click him with the soul vial. Oh, is he pollinating something or something? Oh, no, wait, no. We gotta kill some, don't we? Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah, what? I need to picture, remember? All right, no, but instead of killing him, what we're gonna do... Here, I'll just pick him up, actually. We're gonna use the soul vial, and then I'm gonna use the powers, powered spawner from Ender IO, and I'm gonna combine the two, and we can uh, spawn in a couple more bees. Oh, okay. Right. We can probably get some honey off of them. So here, well, I'll, I'll pass you down the stigma. Alright, talk with me. Oh yeah. Got it. Uh and let's just let's just hunt for some flowers. Like what kind of flowers? Looking for the giant ones or the little ones? Oh the giant ones. Right. And then I guess if we see another we'll be might as well I'll take them. Oh shit. Alright, there's a pot fly behind you. I thought that was a dragonfly that just picked me up. I'm gonna shoot myself. There's a bot fly, he bot fly. Are the dragonfly is really that scary, I never really noticed. They fucking they just grab you. So you know you're like a couple feet up in the air. Where the hell did you go? Oh, you're up there. I'm just gonna... And then yep. you get dropped. <laughs> no, as a steam-powered guy, I have a lot of mobility. The hell are those things and why the hell do they make such weird noises? They sound like fucking... Lights. They're like... Bzz. UV, UV lights. How'd you go? You keep disappearing on me, man. Tan lights. I'm just flying. That's you up there, yeah. Fuck up. Alright, we also need something called papyrus though, so that might be something we gotta be looking for here. I don't know where papyrus is found though. It's found by pools of water, which it might be in this biome right here, the sort of jungle looking one. So, uh, Love doing that. I'm gonna These... jump. Jump cut! Okay, duck, so I'm gonna combine this soul vial uh, in the. Is this the bind? Soul binder? I think it is. We're gonna combine this together with a broken spawner. Hold up, I gotta find a broken spawner now. Which, oh no, that's in here. Ooh, my god, the frames. Come on, yeah, let's... Oh man, I just turned it to fancy, that was dumb. Okay, uh, so in here, we'll take, uh, side toads. No, we'll take, no. We'll take, uh, this one here. Take this one, put it in here. Add the orky bee to it. And then we'll use player XP. Apparently I don't have XP. Kill a mob real fast. Bag. So we're gonna place our bees down here. We got the stems and the stigma set up. And uh, we're just gonna place one bee down and we got the nectar collector. And, uh, you so got so yours, I got mine. Right click bees to collect near. Nectar. So we're just gonna place them down to see if they pollinate. Hopefully they should. Give me nectar. Hopefully they'll pollinate first. Oh, oh, oh. They're having troubles. 
you can get up too. Come on. What's that? What's that? Come on, man. Where you going? Shit, this is fucking. I don't know where he's going. He's trying, but I think it's the shape of the how the stigma's going. Nah, like, yeah, I'm I did mine. this. Oh shit, that's working. I did this in the creative world. Alright, let's see if this works. Let me try this. Fine. He's like perfectly landed on it. Might be because we don't have the, we're, they're not tamed with the bee pendant, but we can't get the bee pendant unless we get nectar. And uh, I think we can kill them to get nectar, but... Where the hell did my soul vial go? What the fuck? It just goes, if you don't have a room in your hotbar, it goes in here. Since we don't have... I don't want to just murder bees constantly just to get nectar off of them. But I think we might have to go over there just to do that. I don't think they pollinate. I don't think they pollinate naturally. Oh, hold on, he's doing something. He's, he's in the block. No, the block will start making like it'll start looking looking like it'll break. Well, here, let me let me do this fine real quick. Black and cute. One second, maybe it's just because like I don't, I don't know. Like, here, <laughs> pollinate. You he's bastard! Come he's back here. All right, but, I guess we're going back in the fucking. Look, look, so we found the bull rush, or as I like to call it, bullshit. Uh, because apparently papyrus also a rare drop, but I got two of it right here. So apparently. Oh well, wait, if I use my bam, no, it doesn't work. I tried it already. What it's fortune? Just, it's just a straight up rare drop. And uh, like I said, bullshit, because it's really hard to find. Okay, after 50 hours in the uh, Erebus dimension, thanks to the wiki not being very, you know up to date well i guess it is up to date but it's not very updated well this mod's kind of big and i really expect mods that are pretty big to have a lot of info about them but uh some things you have to figure out on your own but uh here we go we're gonna make the b pendant <laughs> i'm in the b pen bad so we're gonna make the b pendant here and then we're also gonna make the 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 the, the uh, 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 honeycomb and uh, the papyrus, man, that was great searching for that. It was great. So we're going to place the honeycomb here. And uh, as you see, it's kind of like a chest. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take out the worker bee. It says, click on a honeycomb block set as target for bee drops, and click on the bee to time. So we're going to take out the bee. We're going to click on the honeycomb block, and then we're going to click on the worker bee. Bam! So now, the bee is ours. So what is the bee gonna do, you ask? Well, he's gonna do what bees do, and he's gonna pollinate the light of the flowers and stuff. So let's see if we can get him up in the air here. Is he tamed? I'm pretty sure he's tamed. I don't know, did I right click on him? Let me just make sure I right click on him. Right -click. All right, but we're also gonna get another worker bee. So we got more than one uh, doing work here. So we'll do this, and then we'll do this, and uh, eventually they will do this. Well, they won't stray too far away from the honey block, but eventually they'll hop on top of the, the stigmas and pollinate the stigmas. And, uh, we should see that here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Is, is he going for pollination? One of you guys are going to pollinate eventually. I know you are. I know you are. Oh, I feel like he wants to go for pollination, but he's like having troubles deciding. You're going pretty far, dude. You're not supposed to stray too far away from the honeycomb. Oh, here he is. Here he is. So, yeah, eventually they'll to uh, hop on top of the stigmas. I want to get a recording of them hopping on the stigma, but they seem to be kind of ignorant. And they're like, nah, son. We do that shit in private. So, I guess I'll give them some privacy. Okay, guys. So, since, I don't know, maybe it doesn't work in multiplayer. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like here. So he's pollinating right there. The block doesn't actually break. That's just the animation he makes when he pollinates. He's gonna pollinate it. He's gonna swing by the honey block. And then he swings by the honey block. He drops off his items. And then he goes out to pollinate again. And boom, nectar. And they just keep doing this over and over again. Maybe it's because I'm under that sacred tree. I don't know. But uh, as you see, they just look like they're doing it perfectly fine. And uh, I don't know. Maybe it just actually doesn't work on multiplayer. But I'll give it. I'll give it a couple more tests. Maybe change the location of the area where I made it, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, no. I'll show you how it works. So we got a bee here. Right click on the block. Right click on the bee. And look right there. He got right to work. Oh, wait, no. Did he get right to work? I don't know. I think I missed him when I was going for the click. There you go. You ready to work? 
the full triangle, full triangle, full triangle. I'm gonna right click on the block. Right click on the B. And now if we just push him over here, should get to work, am I right? No, of course he doesn't want to get to work on when I record it. But yeah, I got these threes getting to work. Sometimes they like take a break and sit around, but uh, if you move them a little bit, oh, they'll get right to it. Look at that. That guy just got right on it right there. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I'll figure it out. All right, these guys are definitely weird. Like, uh, I've seen one of them do it, but then they just like completely stop working. Look, there's five nectar in there. But it's weird. They're tamed to the block, obviously, because they had to deliver that nectar in there. They're tamed to the block, so they can't even fly that far because they're, they're restricted of how far they can fly because they're tamed by the honey block. But they just don't want to harvest it like as much as the ones on that creative world will. I don't know. I think they're kind of bugged down multiplayer. But uh, that might do it for this episode. We got a good bit done. Something cool I found in a uh, in a dungeon chest was this umber golem, and I know exactly what it does. But right now, it's just gonna just a statue right now. A very cool looking statue. But I really one one thing I want to do. Hold up before I just leave these bees here to do whatever they're doing right now. I'm gonna try try click them with this wand a little bit. To see if I need. Get some nectar out of them or something. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will either be doing something with rhinoceros beetles or doing something with black ants, which I'm having a higher hope for when it comes to them actually working how they're supposed to in multiplayer better than the queen, the worker bees, not the queen bee. But I'll see you guys next time.